Hello everyone, I'm Aries Secute. I'm going to teach you how to use ZDL and play online with your friends. Okay, first off, you have the Hamachi or Evolve. I prefer Evolve, so it's just better and it's more stable, I believe. And Hamachi, it's 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 a little simpler, but it's not as stable as servers. Anyways, what you would do is you have to go to the Evolve website and create an account, and I'll leave a link in the description for the website. And after you create everything and download, create your account and download everything, you would then open up Evolve. Then you would get like a friends list and then like an activities board. You know, you want to go to your friends list and have your friends download it too because they're going to need to. Then add your friends. You don't necessarily have to, but it's better to. Then after you add your friends, you're going to have to reset Evolve if you are wanting to see them on your friends list. Otherwise, they won't pop up. All right. Then after that, you want to create a party. And then after you create a party, you know, name it to whatever you want. I insist you create, make it a private party. You know, if you need to, just go into the settings, private game, update, name it whatever the hell you want. Then after that, you want to send your friends a party invite. Then after that, they would join the party. Make sure you all have a green light next to this or a blue light. doesn't really matter. Then after that, you, if you want to make sure you all are going to be stable enough to connect to each other, right click and click IP, they should uh, IP thing about their name, by their name, and then, you know, it should, a prompt box should pop up, a command prompt should come up saying, replying, 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 if it doesn't, then you're not having proper connection, and y'all are having a little errors, that means y'all are going to have to reset your evolve, or just reset your internet, whatever is, I usually reset, reset my evolve, and that usually makes it better. Then after that, after you're in the party and everything, or if you're using Hamashi and you're in each other's network, you know, then you would open up ZDL. Run. Okay. After this, you should get this thing popping up. All right. Some of you probably have this set up, but some people probably don't. You know. Okay. What you want to do is first find the source port or engine you're going to use, like GZ Doom or anything. Figure out where you have it installed. Click it, and then boom, it's right there. Then you want to find your IWADs, wherever your IWADs are. I have mine in a separate folder, but you know, you can, if you don't have it, it copied into another folder, you know, you would go to Program Files times whatever yours is. I don't think it's all the same. Then you would go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, find the Doom you're going to use. Uh, Doom 2, that's the one most people will use. Okay. After that, if you have multiple source ports, you click the source port you're going to use, and multiple iWads, you click the iWad you're going to use. Now, a lot of you are probably going to be wanting playing Project Brutality or Brutal Doom. I prefer Project Brutality, and I don't remember which folder I named my brutal which folder. I think it's just Brutal. No, it's all on Earth. Anyways, you would find the folder that you have Project Brutality or Brutal Doom installed. I have it right here, Project Brutality. Boom. Now, if you're going to do this, you have to make sure you, if you do this for Project Brutality, I think you did this for regular Brut Brutal Doom, you would have to make sure you add the class you guys are going to use. For Project Brutality, it should be an external file, fo file folder, multiplayer, and the class y'all are going to use. This is the current one, this is the last version, the original Brutal, brutal Weapons, and then your traditional Doom. You click the one you're going to use, and then, boom, it's there. Now, if you're going to add like other maps to it or anything, make sure first they're compatible and always have the force class on the bottom. Now, you guys are going to have, this is important to make sure things are not out of sync. To keep the game in sync, you have to make sure you guys have the order of your external files the same. So they'll load up the same way. So you, let's say you have this like this and your friend has it like this. If it does manage to load, it'll say out of sync whenever you play and it's really awkward. Okay, so make sure you all have the external files in the same order as each other and the force class is always at the bottom. Alright, then after that you want to click this arrow right here. After it's open, this stuff should pop up right here. You want to set your game mode to co-op or deathmatch, whatever you guys are doing. If you're hosting, you want to click 2 or how many players you're having. If you're joining a game, you click joining. Now with Evolve, I'm pretty sure it's the same way with Hamachi. What I do is I type in my name, slash, then I go get my IP. You have to use the host's IP, whoever's hosting it. 
then paste it into there. Okay, and after the IP is pasted and make sure they paste your IP, you know, they can put down your name, then a slash, and then the IP. That's what me and my friend have been doing. Anyways, then after that's all done, situated, you want to select the map you all are going to start on. As far as I know, I haven't been able to manage the cheat cheats to work, so I always insist on starting on map one so you can get weapons, you know. And you can set your skill level. And in game, you know, with the GZ Doom, you can always they set like the compatibility settings like items respawn you don't lose keys or anything you share keys or whatever you know that stuff you have to do in game All right, you want to make sure and you have to do this otherwise it just won't load sometimes it will sometimes I won't and since it's online you guys don't have to worry about restarting the level if you both die alright then what you want to do is go to your ZDL advanced right here multiplayer settings what I have it set to and getting the best results is that the default source port that you end up getting and then enabling all right and after that you know don't worry about this it's just something else it's like you can save the current situation right here all right then after that you know it's like the game what are you gonna do if you're hosting you click the players if you're gonna join click joining then you click launch then this will then this stuff will load I don't have anyone with me so it's not gonna really load Come on, not responding. Come on, come on. There we go. You know, then I'll say waiting for players. And if you guys have good enough internet connection, and <clears throat> then the person that's people that are joining, click joining. Then when their stuff loads, it'll say. Okay, well that's because there was no host to find right at the moment, but. You get my gist. If there's a host, it'll that wouldn't happen, but there isn't, so I don't know what to tell you about that one. Anyways, like that pretty much sums it up on how to use it. I believe I I believe I pretty much covered it, you know, frag limit and stuff. These are just for the deathmatch mode, don't worry about that. I believe I have covered everything. You have to set a map and difficulty. Then if you using mods you both have to have the mods installed and have them the same order as each other. If not, it'll be out of sync. Then, whatever iWAD you're going to use. And you both have to use the same source port. And, yeah, I think that covers it. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, if this helped out, leave a like. Subscribe if you want. I post videos sometimes. I just happen to see this on a website, seeing, seeing someone needed help with this. So I thought I'd do it, you know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you need more help with anything, let me know. And I'll do my best to help you out with these kind of things. I'm still tinkering around with this kind of stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching if you did. And, well, I guess I'll see you later. Bye.